Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a differential equation. I think a while ago we solved a problem with e to the y, but I can't remember if it was the first derivative or the second derivative. I think it was the second, because the first, der first derivative would be fairly easy. Anyways, so here's what we can do to solve this problem. We can go ahead and replace y prime with dy over dx, which is kind of like a nicer form because it tells you that you're going to differentiate y with respect to x okay that gives you more information set it equal to e to the y plus one now this is a separable differential equation which means you can put the y terms on one side and the x terms on one side and then you can integrate one of the easiest kinds of differential equations so let's go ahead and see what we can do multiply both sides by dx And then, of course, you want to put the y's together. So let's divide by e to the y plus 1. You could do that at the same time, by the way. So now we got this separable, or it was separable. We separated the variables. Now let's go ahead and integrate both sides. And when we integrate 1 over e to the y plus 1, this is the fun part. Because you can integrate this in more than one way. I mean, integrating dx, obviously, would be pretty straightforward, right? When you integrate, you're going to get x plus c. I want to keep the constant on the right hand side. It's a general practice most of the time. You don't have to put constants on both sides. So don't get me wrong. I'm not against constants, but only one constant will be enough. So how do you integrate this function here? That is the most important question. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And at the end, we're going to set it equal to x plus c. Okay. Now, first method, I'm going to go ahead and Multiply this by e to the power negative y. And why am I doing that? Because when I do it, the denominator becomes e to the power 0, which is 1, plus e to the power negative y. And the numerator is e to the negative y dy. So I can use u substitution. And notice that if I call this u and the whole thing. By the way, you can also call this u, but that's more work. So if u is 1 plus e to the negative y, then du, which is differentiated, negative e to the negative y dy, because the derivative of 1 is 0. It's a constant, right? So we got du and we got u, so we can go ahead and plug those into our equation and then integrate the resultant integrand. Such a weird word. So, but we don't have negative e to the power negative y. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little negative here. Nobody saw that, right? And put another negative here. So they will negate each other. Good. Now, inside what we have here is, let's go ahead and take a look. Don't forget the negative sign. That's going to cause a lot of trouble. We have du over u. Wow, that's amazing, right? That's something that you are very familiar with, especially if you're doing calculus, right? What is the integral of du over u? It is ln absolute value. You don't need absolute value because the expression you're going to ln is already positive, right? What is u? 1 plus e to the negative y. As you know, this can't be negative, right? Great, so we can go ahead and set it equal to x plus c, and we're going to get the answer. But let's go ahead and take a look at the alternative methods, and then we're going to come back here. Let's not forget. Let's put a little mark here, and then we're going to put our uh, solutions together. Okay? What is another alternative for integrating dy over e to the y plus 1? You can, we multiply by e to the power negative y, and that gave us u substitution, but we could also multiply by e to the y. And you're like, why you can do that? Because I can do it. Very simple, right? The answer is simple. It works. e to the y dy. And at the bottom now I get e to the 2y plus e to the y. How does this work? This time we're going to call this u. Okay, this is u. And then this is going to be du. See that? There's no negatives. Cool. And now this is going to become, what about this? This is going to be u squared. Awesome. We didn't get negative, but we got a u squared which is fine, but this is just an alternative. You don't have to do it. And what can I do with this? This is partial fractions, my friend. How does partial fractions work? Do you know how that works? You just write it as a over u 
plus b over u plus 1, and then make a common denominator, set the polynomials, whatever, so on and so forth, and find the a and b values. I believe a from here is going to be uh, 1 half, and b is going to be negative 1 half, and so on and so forth. And you can do it and put the elements together. So much work. It's not ideal, but you'll get the same answer. Make sense? And I still have another approach for you, which is the third method for integrating, okay? How do you integrate this with the third method? You can just use the u substitution at the beginning. Why not, right? Let's call this u. u is awesome, so that's why you are awesome too. So that's definitely uh, a fact. Uh, but anyways, set it equal to u, and then subtract 1. What am I going to do? My goal is to find dy, so I need to get the y. Ln both sides, and you're going to get y equals ln u minus 1. Let's just pretend that this is positive. And then we're going to d both sides dy. How do you integrate? I mean, not integrate, differentiate. What am I talking about? 1 over u minus 1 du. So this is your dy. Go ahead and plug it in. Good luck with that. You get 1 over u minus 1 du divided by u, but you can just put that, insert that little u here and you will get the answer from here. But notice that this is also partial fractions with a slight difference. u squared minus u separated, you'll get the same answer, but u is this time a little different because e to the y plus 1. Make sense? That's why it's a little different. So let's go back and see what we get with this equation. So that's our result. So our equation, the solution is going to be like this. Let's go ahead and write it down. Negative ln 1 plus e to the negative y equals x plus c. So from here, you may want to solve for x. I don't know if you want to do it, but if you do, then it's going to look like the following. We can go ahead and negate both sides. So it's going to give us ln 1 plus e to the negative y equals negative x plus minus c, but I can just write it as plus k. And then you can do e to the power both sides, e to the power both sides, e to the power both sides. That's going to give us 1 plus e to the negative y equals e to the negative x plus k. Again, e to the x, e to the negative x times e to the k. But I can call that c sub 1, another constant. And then you can subtract 1 and then do the L oh, Too much work. Come on. Let's leave it at that, shall we? And conclude this video. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.